there's an asteroid coming. We're all going to die. There's no way to avoid it. It's doomsday. Some people are going to spend it with loved ones. Some people are going to just go off and go crazy in the streets. Dragon Force says, hey, if we're just going to, if we're going to do this, let's do it right. It doesn't matter what genre of metal you like, what kind of, what sub metal genre you're into. We're all in this together. It's time for a doomsday party. Are you ready? I mean, that's what I'm doing. I'm there. I don't know about Doomsday Party, but October 25th, Houston, Texas, House of Blues, Dragon Force is headlining with Amareth, Nano War of Steel, and Edge of Paradise. May not be Doomsday, but it will be my birthday. Now that's a present I'm pumped up about. All right, here we go. Doomsday Party, new one from the mighty Dragon Force. I have a feeling they're going to get a little weird with it. Of course they are. It's Dragon Force. Let's just go. It's a Tuesday party at the Old Town Hall. The Tuesday party on the factory floor. Okay. Okay, so they're going to so they're bringing all the genres of metal together for a doomsday party, but yet every member of the band is going to be in a different one. By the way, uh nice makeup, but we still know it's you, Herman. There's a level of dorkness that occurs that no matter how much makeup he wears, you know it's him. It's cuz you love him like that. Also, is it just me uh or does uh Mark Hudson look like um oh, I don't know, Jake Busey the actor. Have you ever seen Jake Busey the actor? Yeah, when you see it, it'll make total sense to you. Also, um, so if if Herman is going black metal and Mark is going some kind of hip hop, Jake Busey kind of thing, what about Alicia, Sam, G? What are they going to do? Any ideas? Let's put in. Uh, there's no telling. Let's see what happens. Okay, you see it now? Jake Busey. Yeah, that's um, Gary Busey's son. He was in uh, Starship Troopers. He was in that uh, that Michael J. Fox movie with the, with the ghosts. Yeah, that guy. Yeah. It's scary how much Mark looks like him. All right, so Sam is um, funneling his inner Keith. Um. <laughs> Bro, you look like you could be a member of the Rolling Stones. So if Keith Richard ever does go, Sam's got this. He's so brooding. So rebel. He's so Sam. So Alicia's what what the hell, G? Okay, never mind. Hold on. I was gonna comment that Alicia is doing her her inner um Pat Benatar feel that uh you know with her metal vest with all of her patchwork. It's awesome stuff. But then G popped up as the newest member of Winrose, and I'm not sure if I can handle that. Welcome to Napalm, guys. To bring home all right, so um Normally, G is known for having 47,000 pounds of chrome holding up every individual symbol and Tom on his drum set, as you can see. However, he's also channeling his inner dwarf. Yes, welcome to Napalm Records, guys. So, yeah. Yeah. So, someone has to play the... So, yeah. Yeah. Winrose does have a new video out from Napalm Records, in fact. Yes. I'm doing a reaction to it. Yeah. But that's not today. So, G... Go back to being Dragon Force. 
Okay, because you're confusing you're confusing the community. They're fans of both, and you're confusing them. She is not a dwarf. No. I don't even... No, he plays drums like he's playing it with hammers, but no, he's not actually a, a bad old barbarian dwarf. True story. Anybody else hear the increased attack on the base side? Alicia's base has, they have her cued hard where there's a lot of attack. So every pluck and pull she's doing, you can really hear that, that, that almost like it's a claw hammer feel where you're just like, she's just pulling it. You can hear that bounce. It's just, it's cool to hear because there's so much guitar that to hear that rhythm section kind of shine in the background brings a good balance to the force and we know how much balance is when you're talking about force this is dragon force see what i did there it's called stupidity everybody learn it I don't want anyone to ever think that if you get one of those little VIP Dragon Force lanyards and you, you spend the money and you meet Dragon Force, that it, you're not going to have fun. Okay. You see it. See how they are on the video? That's how they are in real life. Except for Alicia. Alicia is a normal person. The rest of them, completely insane. They're actually, they're a bunch of nine year olds with a, an older sister who actually just happens to not be older than them. Does that make sense? Okay, no, what I'm saying is if you, if you do the VIP package for the Dragon Force Tour, and I highly recommend it, it's, it's actually worth the money because you get all this swag, you get access to, you know, the, the, the merch and everything first, and you get to meet the band, and then the band not only will sign all your stuff, but they actually care. Like, they'll joke around with you, they'll, they'll make fun of your beard and how, and how weird you look, and, and they're great people. So... If you, if you are getting tickets to see Dragon Force and you've never bought a VIP meet and greet pass for a band before because you don't know if it's actually worth it, this one is actually worth it. Most of them are. Most of them are. But meeting Dragon Force, they are literally this silly. It's a true thing. So it's a good time. Yeah. Especially if Herman and Sam are sitting side by side, and they usually are. Um, yeah, those two don't stop. They are ridiculous. God love them. All right, let's get back to it. Sorry to stop it, but I just had to let you know that if you get a chance to meet Dragon Force, do it because it's worth your time. They are this much fun. I don't know if Herman's going to wear the makeup, but you never know day to day. He could do it. You've seen the commercials with the cowboy hat. Yeah.
Yeah. I think it's a good balance, man. They are so good at this. Every person gets to shine in this song. Everything around was beautiful. We were young, we were free then. Everything was green and gold before. Somebody put Mark in the shower. Why did he look so greasy? It's so... Ah! Sorry. Oh, and we danced in the stars. Remember when we were so We finally found something that they can't do. I know everyone, nice shot. Wait, that's good shot, Sam. Are you spitting out your gum right now? I just wanna say that we finally found something that Dragon Force cannot do. I mean, they can literally do anything. They, they can't line dance at all. Like, at all. <laughs> oh, the Markaroonie. Wait, everyone's going to do it. Oh, nice. Good job, Sam. Wow. Okay, everybody, there you go. Um, I, I don't even know what to say about that. I mean, I don't know what to say about it, but I'm going to do it anyway. All right, everybody, that was Doomsday Party from Dragon Force. They are going on tour in the United States, North America. Get your tickets now. Um, get your VIP passes. Get your meet and greets. Get all that stuff. Show up early. Stay late. Um, the lineup is insane. Dragon Force, Amareth, the mighty Amareth. Um, you have Nano War of Steel, which if you think Dragon Force is silly, <laughs> that's all I'm going to say about that. And then, of course, Edge of Paradise. Yeah. So it's one hell of a lineup. I mean, the last Dragon Force lineup was incredible. This one, just as incredible. All right. We'll see you on the road. Hey, if you are going to the Houston show, come find me. Trust me. You know that if you find me, I got stuff. All right. Love one another. Take care of each other. We're all stuck in this mobile together. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like. It really helps the channel grow. Also, if you want to subscribe, right there. Big thank you to all my Patreons out there. We appreciate everything you do. If you want more content like this video, check them out above. Remember, love one another, take care of each other. We're all stuck on this mud ball together. We'll see you later. Oh.